the Federal Reserve and the income tax to manage inflation because that's all the income tax is for the idea that people have in their head that we take tax money in to pay for things that's that's completely wrong when the government wants because the government has the the printer and the federal reserve prints money for us the income tax is just a means of taking money out of the system to help control inflation there's two ways that they control inflation taxation and by uh changing the interest rate so if there's if they print too much money they just raise taxes to take the money out of the system um if you take away their ability to print money endlessly then you have to end the foreign wars the the foreign expansionism the basically the, all of the bo- the times that the government decides we're going to put this policy into place which essentially is a way to buy people's any kind of service that they offer so free health care uh we're going to give college students money we're going to do all this all of this is buying votes it's what it's the government saying we we're going to give you this and the the hope is these this group this special interest group they will go ahead and they'll vote for us um and that's what the government does they print money give it to people hoping that they'll vote for it, for whichever person implemented the uh, the thing so it takes that power away and it makes the it'll make the government hopefully in theory it'll make the government more accountable to uh, a more um a more restrained economic policy it also yeah in- incentivizes international trade which i think is very interesting but he, this is getting offset with the tariffs from what i understand yes. he's like we're going to be charging all these tariffs but like i looked it up before there's probably like you know there's tens of millions of americans who don't pay any income tax because they fall under the threshold yep and the tariffs are going to increase the cost of everything they buy so unless trump i uh, uh, it's not going to increase the cost of everything well anything that has a tariff on it unless trump can Important negotiate products. with the What's that? Imported products. And Imported also, products. But there are there are currently a, So your milk, bread, and eggs are fine. Well, there'll be a temporary period where you have to start firing up factories in this country to make the things that So that will improve the economy. There are, Wages will in the long up. run, but there will be a tremendous amount of pain short term. There there would be there would be uh would be my guess anyway. Stuff that there would be stuff that has to be has to be sorted out. But the if you if you have like things that are produced in the United States would prices would ostensibly go down. You would have, uh, you wouldn't, you would have companies incentivized to produce things here in the U.S. as opposed to sending them overseas. And currently, there's tariffs and, and stuff on all any number of products. It's not that, like there's no tariffs or anything that are. Yeah, there's tons really, of stuff, and you can negotiate, right? Yeah. Like so, it's not countries. like it's not like oh, we're going to get rid of income tax, and there's no tariffs, and we're going to put tariffs on everything, and then everything is going to change. There's already tariffs. It's not like it's some brand new thing that we don't have. No, Trump you, Trump invented it. <laughs> but I mean, it, there's already tariffs. So, as much as there are going to be people that are going to be uh, affected by it, and it's going to cause distortions in the market, and there's going to be things that have to kind of settle settle down. Um, if if it is implemented, it's not like it's some. It's not like it'll be something that we ha- don't have experience with because there are tariffs here. Yeah, you know, and right now there's how, what did you say? There's how many people that don't pay? I think I think I read that 60 million people paid less than 1.5% income tax, which is essentially Those zero. people don't pay any kind of net income tax either because they get that money yeah, back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Benefits. Yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. probably, it's, I think it's it's less than less than 50% of the people. 40% of U.S. households do not pay income tax in these United States. There you go. So that's a lot of people where you're, like, I mean, a lot of items will go up in price, like, especially like, any- Which in- ones? Anything that has an imp- like if he says I'm going to slap a tariff on aluminum or steel, right? Anything that's made with aluminum or steel, the price. But, that, but that's that's saying we don't source aluminum, steel, and aluminum or steel in our own country. Yeah, and part the, of the purpose of the tariff is so that we bring those jobs back. No, here. no, I, I understand that. I'm saying you can't do that like snap a finger. Like you could say in ten years from now we'll have that all set up, but I don't, I don't think you can do that. I understand your point. But they could also just print a bunch of money. But he's not running it. So people. you know what he should do? Just his first year, he should just do it, and then we'll have a little dip, and then it'll spike Or like do it over a five-year period where every year there's a reduction, and then it scales Plus he's up not trying to be president again. Pumped. So Right. That's, yeah, so, so he's going like, to come in and be like, nah, I'm So hate this. me. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that he could handle being hated, though. That's why. <laughs> but for real, he puts his name in gold letters on the top of buildings. Yeah. I mean, I was saying this to you before. Like, obviously, I'm not from America. I followed American politics, but I don't ever remember I don't think leading up to uh, an election like this close where all these people are just tabling all these crazy ideas that, it's, they, it's so that they had not said before. Remember when so, so Trump is like, no tax on tips. And then Kamala goes, no tax on tips. And then Trump's like, 
no tax on Social Security. And she's like, I'll forgive all of your debt. <laughs> and J.D. Vance is like $5,000 tax credit per child. And she goes, $6,000 tax it's credit It's like an per auction. Child. And then yeah. Trump is like, no more taxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, though. It's like, like I mean, auction. look, from what I recall, it used to be like, this is my platform. This is what I'm running on, and we're going to take this to the end. Conceptually. I'm, 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 I'm stoked. I hope Kamala goes nuts. She has says, to. We're going to get rid of all taxes and give you from the government coffers. And then Trump is just like, we're going to completely dismantle government. Everyone's fired. And then I vacate the presidency. And there's no politicians left. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's <laughs> literally like, no taxes and he's Hitler. You know, you know, <laughs> and then next week, it's, he's Mussolini too. But what's funny is the direction they're going is basically they are competing with dismantling government. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, this, this is a win-win for the want. Yeah. This is a win-win for the American population. The libertarians yeah. are doing the Randy Marsh meme at the computer. <laughs> I think, I think Angela true. McArdle is secretly orchestrating everything that's going on. I mean, he's going to put a libertarian in the cabinet somewhere, which would be wonderful. The, the, the idea that he wants to get rid of the bureaucracy, that he's going to cut back in the bureaucracy is great. If you could actually get significant real cuts in cabinet-level bureaucracies, that would be tremendous. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.